Hey everyone, welcome back to the tutorial. Today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys how to trade double tops. I've watched so many videos on YouTube and they're all teaching you guys how to do it the incorrect way because they always is, they're always showing you guys the full picture. You guys don't know what's gonna happen after the double top is formed after you buy. So you have to have a plan and nobody ever really teaches you guys how to trade that plan or how to make that plan for yourself, okay? So today to fix that, we're gonna be using the replay feature here on TradingView. We're gonna be looking into old Microsoft or excuse me, Facebook stock. That way we can actually play this around a little bit so you guys know exactly when to buy, exactly when to sell to take your profits. And if you guys wanna take more risk or less risk, I am gonna help you guys figure that out as well, all right? Now, again, like I said, Facebook stock right here. You guys are gonna be looking at about six to eight stocks at one at, at once here on your charts because you're just gonna be looking for different ways to trade here, okay? You're gonna be looking for more than one thing to trade. The one thing I would encourage you guys to do is just keep the same stocks there all the time so you get to know the characteristics and see how volatile they can be and if they really just are easy money. Sometimes you're gonna find ones that are really easy money, stick with those until they no longer are easy money, then switch them in with something else, all right? Now, we have Facebook here. The day was closed here, but going into the next day, right, what are we gonna be looking at? Hey, wow, we have a double bottom here. If I stretch this out a little bit more, you guys will see a little bit better. A bottom, a bottom, a neckline, and we broke out above it. So going into the next day, which we're gonna be trading, you would expect us to actually be having a pretty green day, okay? Now, let's wait this out. The day is going fine. There's no reason to really be buying right now because we're not trading the double bottom. We're just kind of waiting and waiting and waiting this bad boy out here, okay? Nice and easy. And while I'm talking here for a second, if you guys uh, want to know more information about uh, double tops, I'll put a link down below for Investopedia. That's if you want to get down to the nitty gritty math things, okay? Now look at here, we have a top, we had a little bit more of a pullback. We're coming back up here again. Oh, and we have a top, okay. Now, you are not buying right now. You're not even thinking about buying. You're just thinking, wow, okay, that could be a double top. That could be a double top. So you just want to have that in the back of your mind while this is playing out. And again, every one of these candles is five minutes. So you have plenty of time to really think this over, okay? But now, now you might be pulling this up onto one of your main charts so you can get a better idea of what's going on here, okay? Now, let's wait a few minutes more. Okay, now, now we see it's coming back down. This could be juicy. So you wanna put down two horizontal lines here just to see what's going on and make sure that you have the right neckline here for the to buy in, okay? And if you're day trading this, to be honest, you're most likely day trading options. In this case, since it's a bearish reverse, are you tra day trading puts? So just keep that in mind. You could make a little bit of money shorting this if you wanted to, but excuse me, you're gonna be making a lot more money if you buy puts on this bad boy, okay? Now, now what do we see right here? We have the 20 moving average here, this green line. That's a level of support. We wanna really make sure we crack down below that before we even open up an opportunity here, open up any positions. But now, we have the five minute charts. Now we gotta look at the 15 minute charts. What do we have here? 50 minute charts, there's no moving averages, no support levels here that I really need to worry about. There's a golden cross here, but that's more of a long-term factor here as far as what we're looking at, because we're only gonna be in this trade for maybe a max of like an hour, a max of an hour. But let's go over here, you know, 30 minute chart if you wanna take a look at it. We have some support down here at 212, 45, right down here at 213. So you do see, see some support here around the 212, 213 level, okay? And right now the price of Facebook is at $216 at the point uh, that we're looking at it right now, okay? So just keep that in mind. And now before you even, you know, before you even open up that trade, you guys are gonna be looking to add a Fibonacci level here, a Fibonacci retracement level. If you guys are new to TradingView, it's right over here, the third one from the top. If you click on this one, I have it starred, so it's all the way at the top here, but let's just look for Fibonacci retracement, Fib retracement, okay? Click on it right there, add the magnet so it can snap on. And when you're adding this onto your charts, I have a separate tutorial about this, check it out if you want to, but you're gonna be looking to start it off at the trend. So you're gonna be looking to start it off here at this low, the start of this trend that we've been looking at, okay, here. Now, you can put it down here if you wanted to or even here, but I find it to be more accurate if you're actually at the start of the trend here, that's when you wanna start that Fibonacci level, then putting the top part up here at the top of the double top, okay? Nice and simple. Now, let's just kind of zoom in here. And now, if this if we open a position here, we're gonna have two opportunities to sell. One is right down here at 216.97, which is only about like 53 cents profit, not a lot. So, you know, if I see, if I notice that this is something like Facebook where there's a lot of day traders, a lot of institutional activity, a lot of people are trading to make money, I would assume it's gonna at least go back to the 215 level down here, or maybe to the 214 level over here where we had a lot of support, all those moving ahead just kind of creeping around there from the 15, the 30, and the 45 minute charts, all right? now. Let's play it out here a little bit longer. Waiting, waiting, boom. Okay, we broke down. Broke down, broke down, broke down. Now, 
At that point, that is when you open up your trade right at that neckline. We've broken down below it and everything is looking mighty fine at the moment, okay? No worries. At this point in time, what I'd recommend is if you wanted to place a stop loss on this trade, you would be putting it back up here just a little bit above the, the trend line of what you opened up at. Now, there's a few different ways you guys can put your stop losses, but you're either going to be doing the neckline because you just assume it's going to be coming back down as a fur reversal, especially because it's a day, uh, your day trading here. Just come, come down, no swing trade action here. Or what you guys can do is find the next level of resistance here. In this case, it's the 20 moving average on the five minute chart. So you could be using this level right here at about 217 at 93. That means you're going to be losing less than a dollar, right, per share here if you were to make a bad call. All right. Now, let's keep it going here a little bit more. Consolidating, boom. We just fell down below here. So you could take some profits right now or you could hold on a little bit longer. Uh, I'm a conservative trader, but I'm not that conservative. So I'd usually be waiting for it to come back down here to 215, okay? 215, not too bad. Fibonacci level, this is that green zone here, okay? But let's wait it out a little bit, little bit longer. Wait, wait. And then kind of we tapped on it right there. Now, you guys have no idea what's gonna happen next. So you guys have a few different alternatives. We have the 50 moving average right here on the uh, five minute chart, we have the 20 moving average on the 50 minute chart all the way down here at 214. So there's still some extra room if you guys wanted to hold on here. Remember what I just told you guys, I'm a conservative trader. I would have sold the majority of my position right here, pretty much all of it while I'm day trading. And this trade would have consisted about, you know, um, 35 minutes of, of a trade for about $2 per share, or if you're trading options market, 10 to 15% profit for just a, a few minutes of trading, half an hour trading. Not bad if you ask me. Now, you guys in your mind, make a decision. Are you going to be selling here and be more conservative like me? Or are you going to be more aggressive and hoping for the 214 level and hoping that we can break down below this uh, 50 moving average? That way you guys can give me more money. Or you guys can scale out here and whatsoever. It's up to you guys. But just make that decision now. Okay, now let's push play here. Now we bounce a little bit, consolidating some more, consolidating some more. No, it's still not too bad, but now the day trade here is over. This trade is pretty much completed if you think about it because... We didn't keep on going back down. We hit resistance up here. Let's kind of wait it out. Still kind of waiting it out. Nothing is really happening here, unfortunately. There we go. Now we tapped back on that level. Give it a couple seconds. Let's see what's going to happen. And then unfortunately, we ended up coming back up here. Okay. Now, you had a couple opportunities, but if you sold it right back here, now you would have been in that trade for two hours and 40 minutes instead of just being in the trade for a simple 35 minutes, okay? So if you guys wanted to take the, if you guys thought it might come back down here, it's okay, we can all be greedy, but just make sure you guys understand, it's okay to shave some off here. So if we were going back in time here just a little bit and we saw that we came down here, okay? Now you have a few different opportunities. Now you can think about this uh, in the future. You could sell all of it here, you could sell just 50% here, hoping that it comes down more so you can actually accumulate more profit. But no matter what happens, you've, you've still made some money off of this play, okay? And then if you do wait a little bit longer, your stop loss is now gonna be moved up to this Fibonacci level right here. So that's gonna be your stop loss because since you bought right here, no matter what, you're gonna, you're gonna be making money. Even if you're not making as much money as you could have because you took it a little bit more aggressive, you're still gonna be making money and that's the whole point of trading, okay? so. Let's rewind this just one more time here so we can kind of play it out all in your head here to get it all nice and simple in your mind, in your mind so to speak. So let me get rid of all these uh, drawings and so forth here. We're going to restart this candle right there in a nice five minute. Okay, now but I'm just going to speed it up here because I know you guys have uh, stuff to do. Now, going on to the day, double top, uh, double bottom, excuse me, we're expecting it to go up here. It's okay to use other patterns when you guys are trading, right? Now. Up a little bit more, up a little bit more. Let me put auto on here because I know it's going to go off the screen here. Now, there we go, down. Right here, this is where you start planning for a double top. You put up your lines right there. You put up your necklines right here. Nice and simple. For now, we're going to skip the top line here because we're just worrying about the neckline here as far as breaking down. And then at the same point in time, you're also available to actually put up your Fibonacci levels. And again, I have a tutorial on this one if you guys want to know more about it. But here we go. Neckline, neckline, tap, right, broken. Open the position, open the put, whatever you guys are trading that you're expecting it to go down off of this bearish reversal pattern, that's what you're hoping for, okay? Now you see this right now, we're hovering over the Fibonacci, we break down below the Fibonacci level, and then boom, 
we tap right down here and we're unable to break down below the Fibonacci level. And again, if you guys wanted to be more aggressive with this, uh, just know that you guys should study candlestick patterns and those those small reversals that you guys can see with candlesticks because you can see after this first few minutes, there's a support level here. That's kind of saying, hey, 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 be careful because there's support here. We may bounce up back over and the bulls are looking for a reason to buy back in. Bulls are going to be buying off the Fibonacci levels too, right? Because they're looking for the reversal, looking to enter into a position and then there we go. I can't let you go, baby.